All right, we're back at it. Um, got a couple more I want to tie up for uh, Dave Selby. Does Big Dave's Fishing on YouTube. Got an Instagram page. Check him out. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of these bumblebee colors. Black and yellow. Some black feathers, some yellow feathers. Um, black, eighth ounce. Jig hit from Patriot Baits with uh, number four sickle hook, I think. Number two, kind of a short one. Well, not really. It might be a four. I can never, I, I don't know why, but I can never remember sizes of hooks. I don't know why. But um, like I said, we're going to start out with the black jig head. What we're going to do is kind of a bumblebee looking kind of color, but pretty flashy. A couple guys I've tied them to like them, so they had pretty good luck with them. So we're going to give a give Dave a couple of these, let him try. See how they turn out, see what he thinks about them. He's planning on headed to Truman in the morning. He's going to try to start working my way into some blue cats. We went last week up to Kaplinger Mills. Uh, got us a cooler full of shad, got them all ready. Froze a few. Way the Weather was talking earlier in the week. You know, I've been keeping a pretty good eye on it. And they were talking. The way I was hearing at first was that I was going to end up with a pretty good gap sometime between like 9 and 2 or 3. Give me a pretty good chance to get out on the water. But now they're talking 50, 60 mile an hour winds, large damaging hail. And I don't know if I trust the weatherman or not right now if he says there's going to be a gap in it so I think we're going to um, we might run back up to Kaplinger Mills tomorrow and stock up on some more shad. I might end up running the Bass Pro and uh, stock up on some more catfish stuff but as of right now I don't see the boat headed out now I listen to those guys on Catfish Weekly talking about catching big catfish and we used to do a lot of it on Ohio River when I lived in Kentucky. Kind of got out of it, got tied up in the crappie. And that's all my son's ever caught. Crappie, you know, we've caught a few. Ain't that right? You've caught a couple of big channel cats, so. Yeah. Big flathead. You caught a big flathead out of Palmy River. Mm -hmm. But I think it's time to get him up to uh, Truman and let him tackle a big blue cat. But like I said, watching a watching a Catfish Weekly podcast kind of got me itching to go. Lyle Stokes, I sent you a message this morning on Facebook. Uh, sent you a friend request too. Anybody got any good tips on where to steer me at on Truman? I was planning on putting in at Tally Bend, heading up that way. I talked to. Um, Jordan Lear does guide service on Truman. He was kind of pointing me in the right direction, you know, but he's a full-time guide, so I don't want to steal his spots, and I don't ask him to tell me where his spots are, you know, just kind of give me a good general direction to start in. That's where I planned on starting at, was Tally Bend and seeing from there. Like I said, if you got any tips, I'd greatly appreciate it. I don't have a really big catfish boat. I got 18 foot champion. That's what's in the background. I have, you know, 18 foot bass boat that is pretty much rigged for everything other than bass fishing. But we, you know, figure out what we're gonna do, what we're gonna fish for, and me and Zach kind of adapt to it. Put in some rod holders. You know, I've set it up spider rig. And we, you know, do a little bit of bass fishing out of it every once in a while. But it's time to get this kid on a big blue cat. Something to get his heart pumping a little bit more because I think, I think I've bored him with the crappie. Have I bored you with crappie fishing yet? 
Yeah. What? Not really. Yeah, he said not really, but... Sometimes you need a different fish. Sometimes you need to change the scenery. Sometimes you just need uh, something else to hunt down. But this is my bumblebee colored jig. And it don't seem like this jig really prefers, you know, clear water, dark water. I caught a lot of fish on this color. A lot of people look at it and think, well, man, that ain't the first one I'd pull out of my box to use. And sometimes it's not the first one I pull out of my box to use. But sometimes when they get finicky, that's a pretty good one to try on. And the bumblebee is a pretty good name for it. I like it. Hopefully Big Dave can get on some fish with it and we can see exactly how it does. Let's do one more and we're going to call it a night. And I'm still watching that weather. I still... No, I probably won't either. I'll talk myself out of it. Going up trimming there. Not much worse than getting caught in a severe thunderstorm when you're out on a lake. My boat will take a pretty good wave, but it won't take a... Well, I'm not going to test it. I'm champion will hold its own, but we was out of Palm de Terre. That first weekend a couple weeks ago when the weather got pretty warm, it's pretty nice out. Um, there was a lot of boats out. We'd go up and fish the bridge up around Nemo. And we decided right off the bat we was gonna go hit that bridge first. And we went across it, I seen all the boats. You know, I knew how much boat traffic was on it when we went over it. So we got down there. We both were ready as soon as we got up close to the bridge. We both dropped the jig in the water at the same time. We both caught a fish at the same time. And as we're trying to take the fish off, I look over and there's... I don't know how big the wave was, but it completely swamped the front of my boat. And that was the first time I'd ever took a wave over the nose of that champion, but... That one got me. So we was done with the bridge for the rest of the day. Um, I love it that my fly shop is back open again. Plateau Fly Shop in Springfield. So now I got back all the materials I need when I run out I can run right back up there and get them I ain't got to worry about getting stuff off the internet getting the wrong stuff or losing it in shipping so happy when they open back up and pretty much that week my orders went back up started selling jigs again I started doing this in the winter time when it got a little bit too cold to fish. Never used to bother me that much when it, it was cold out. I could fish just about any kind of weather condition. I don't know if I'm getting old now or not, but man, that cold weather chills me to the bone. So I started playing around with tying crappie jigs and the next thing you know where I am selling them. But I'm pretty sure we're going to end up at, at uh, Kaplinger Mills in the morning. Maybe get some more shad. I don't think I'm going to fight the boat, the waves, worrying about thunderstorms. But it's another good channel to watch. You know, if you, uh, if you like the catfish... Hit up Catfish Weekly. You know, sometimes it's just good conversation to listen to. On my way home, it's a 45-minute drive on the way home. I either listen to uh, the newest podcast of um, 
Catfish Weekly. I listen to the podcast of uh, Crappie Connection. Those guys at Catfish Weekly, it's, it's fun just listening to the conversations they have. You know, you can tell people who enjoy what they do. And they're, they're fun to listen to. Big Dave Fishing. Go to his channel, give him a like. Give him a thumbs up, subscribe to him. You know, those guys that go out and film what they're doing and then take that footage back home and edit it. You know, I got respect for those guys. That's not easy work. So many times we'd set up with GoPro camera, go out to show people what we was going to do, and I'd get there and I couldn't get on fish. And by the time I did get on fish, my battery was dead or... It's, just, it's hard. It's hard to do. Those guys got my respect, that's for sure. But that's two. That ties me up an even dozen for Big Dave Selby and Big Dave Fishing. Uh, go to my channel. To learn how to tie a jig or you need to learn something else about tying a jig, ask me. I'm more than happy to show you. Comment on it. Uh, subscribe, ring that bell, and we are out for the night. See you guys.